This is David, W901Y. We're listening to two meter operations on the amateur radio band, which are both playing UV5R. You'll hear many ham radio operators and their call signs. If you'd like to learn more about that ham radio operator, you take that call sign and we'll do a search on qrz.com. We enter the search and I will pick Whiskey Alpha 9, Oscar November Yankee, WA901Y, and I'll search. We will get its address, that ham radio operator's address, that is in the FCC database. We will also see that uh, that person, me, has put in my email address so that you can contact me. And there's a variety of tabs here. We'll focus on two tabs, and we'll do the short tab first, details. Now, in order to see the details, you may have to be registered with QRZ.com. We can uh, show the map, bring up a satellite view, zoom in, nudge over the map. And this is my house, or Q QTH. Ham radio antennas are located up here on this side of the house. This information comes mostly from the FCC. And from the FCC, the address information can be used to calculate the grid square, uh, the ITU zone, and et cetera, down here. If you want to go to the FCC, we would click on this. And that will take us to the FCC website. And we will see the detailed information the FCC has on WA9ONY. So here we are, the FCC website, WA9ONY, and the details below. We're going to back up. Oh, in fact, we'll just click on this tab here to go back to qrz.com. We're going to go and go to the bio page. The bio page is empty to start out with. And the amateur radio operator, like myself, can put information that ranges from pictures of me in the ham shack. I have links to my operation in Hawaii. I have pre links here to presentations at the CPAC conference. My projects that range all the way from the Ubuntu computer that I'm working on to the Bofang projects that I'm helping out, a person studying for their amateur radio operator, Raspberry Pi computer projects with uh, radio, Raspberry Pi computer, computer projects, uh, in general, SDR, so forth, all these different links. Here are, here are past projects and operations that I've done, links to other web pages that I've created and information. And then on down here are what I call mini projects, just a, a few pages. And for example, the, the uh, slow scan TV images from the International Space Station, awards, uh, information about going after the extra class license. Came across a neat uh, software that's an HP Prime graphing calculator that uh, runs on the iPhone and runs on Windows. It's free. Here I calculated the power basically as I varied the impedance load and the um, source impedance was 50 ohms and what we can see is that the power delivered to the load peaks out at 50 ohms. Software defined radio activities and projects. Here's the um, 23 centimeter ham radio band. Uh, it's a Yagi antenna. Here's the uh, handheld that's mounted directly to the antenna with no transmission line. Uh, I'm really excited about that, uh, that I've worked out and 
90 some miles with that setup. Clearly a line of sight. Activities on that band. Going at the far other end, 630 meters. This is below the broadcast band at 472 kilohertz. Stations uh, heard. 160 meter band. That's just above the AM broadcast band. One of my favorite contacts was with KH6JF slash Marine Time Mobile. That was done on a ocean drone. The ocean drone looks like an oversized soft, I mean surfboard with um, solar cells and a 20 meter uh, antenna sticking out. And it has these fins underneath that uses the uh, ocean waves to power it and move it left uh, Hawaii and then continued on to uh, the west coast of California in uh, Mexico. In the amateur radio, there's awards that you can receive for working the number, for example, this is for different prefixes on uh, digital. They're working on uh, states, all 50 states. And the list goes on with different types of awards. QSL cards are a way to confirm your operation with a radio station. Ones that I really like is with the uh, Voskok um, radio station at the research center in Russia. No, I mean, not in Russia, but the Russia research station on the Antarctica. So it's located out here away from anything. I mean, it is really isolated. So a picture of an older ham shack. My operation in Hawaii with the 20 meter vertical. Uh, the ham radio setup was put inside a briefcase for carry on. Uh, here's uh, some more antennas. Uh, this is a uh, magnetic loop antenna. Here's a vertical antenna stuck on a paint pole. Here's a handheld listening to the 20 meter um, maritime mobile net on the North Shore of Kauai. More slow scan pictures from the International Space Station. Digital modes like uh, FT8. We'll scroll down further. Making QSL cards uh, with a inkjet printer. Slow scan TV. Here's a contact with uh, Venezuela. Here's my QSL card. And then there's a large uh, set of links that I find useful for radio. And scrolling down, down. Whenever I come across something useful, I stick it here so I don't forget about it. I find it's easier to have it here than in my browser. And also it shares with other people. And then wrapping up the page, I have my electronic uh, experience. Um, my work experience, my certifications. Uh, I had a first class FCC license with a radar, ship radar endorsement. Um, my original uh, ham radio license I got in uh, freshman year of uh, high school. WN9ONY, novice licenses back then. I had an N for novice and we had, I think, uh, one or two years before we had to get the next grade license or the license expired. But that was way back in 1965 and things are much more different. And everything that it started with was a Heathcote uh, GR91 that I built in grade school. This is an example of getting information about an amateur radio operator that you hear on the handbands. Besides QRZ, a general search with your browser will uh, sometimes come with uh, their home pages and activities and clubs and things like that. This is David, WA9ONY, 73 and QRT.